Hello everyone. I discussed Laplace transform, inverse Laplace transform and their problems in various values. Today, I am going to discuss uh, the application of Laplace transform. You can use Laplace transform to solve ordinary differential equations with initial condition. Welcome you all. For any given differential equation having initial condition, you have to follow three important steps uh, while using Laplace transform. Okay, so what are the three important steps? You just go through this. In step one, take Laplace transform on both sides. So you are given a differential equation, right? For that differential equation, you take Laplace transform on both sides. That is the first step. And in step two, you apply initial condition. In step two, apply initial condition. And in step three, you take inverse Laplace transform. Take inverse Laplace transform. So see, these are the three important steps in order to solve an ordinary differential equation by using Laplace transformation. And this is very important by doing most of the engineering questions. Okay. Consider this example. Solve y double dash minus 5y dash plus 6y is equal to 0 with y 0 equal to 0, y dash of 0 equal to 1. So this is an initial value problem. Initial value problem means you are given few initial conditions. So we want to solve this uh, differential equation. We know this is an ordinary differential equation. So uh, by step 1, in step 1 what we should do? Take Laplace transform on both sides. So therefore, by when we are taking Laplace transform, this is L of y double dash minus 5y dash plus 6y is equal to 0. By linearity property of Laplace transform, you can put Laplace transform for each of these terms. Therefore, L of y double dash minus 5 into 5 can be taken outside. So, 5 into L of y dash plus 6 can be taken outside, 6 into L of y equal to L of 0, L of 0 is 0 itself, okay. Now what about the first term, L of y double dash, see in one of my video, I discussed uh, how to find the Laplace transform of derivatives, see Laplace transform of derivative, we have a particular expansion like this, okay, so there I uh, denoted this by L of f y double dash, L of f y double dash. Okay, see instead of f, I considered here y, that's all. That's the only difference. Okay, so by that expansion, L of y double dash on expanding, see y double dash, so it should start with s square and it descending powers of s, isn't it? And we, we are fixing two terms, first two terms, one is L of y and the other is y0. There we used f of 0. Here since the variable is y, you have to take y of 0. Okay. See these two terms are fixed in all the derivatives. And third term onwards, you have to take different orders of increasing order of y. Right. So what is the expansion of L y double dash? The expansion is s square L of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0. If it is double dash, the expansion ends with y dash of 0. Keep in mind this. Okay. This is see these three terms are expansion of L y double dash minus 5 into L y dash. See 5 into L y dash. L y dash whose expansion. See since it is dash, the term starts with the s. Okay. And remember, first two terms are fixed, L of y and y0. So, S into L of y minus y0. And the last term is 6 into L of y. That is equal to 0. Okay. So, this is the, the first step. So, in first step, take Laplace transform on both sides and then expand Laplace transform of derivative. Okay, now we are moving on to step 2. Now moving on to step 2. See by step 1 we have s square L of y minus s into y0 minus y dash 0 minus 
5 into S L Y minus Y 0 plus 6 into L Y. Now in step 2 you have to apply the initial conditions. See what are the initial conditions given. You are given two conditions y of 0 equal to 0 and y dash of 0 equal to 1. Therefore, in the place of y0, what we can substitute? y0 can be replaced by 0. And y dash of 0, here we have y dash 0, that is replaced by 1. So, everywhere in the place of y0, you put 0 and y dash 0 as 1. Okay, so when we are applying this, s square l of y minus 0 minus 1. Okay, minus 5 into S of L Y minus Y 0 again this is 0 plus 6 into L Y is equal to 0. Now usual simplification. So S square L Y minus see 5 into S L Y 5 into S L Y plus the last term 6 into L Y. See all these terms contains L of Y. We are keeping the term containing L of Y on L H S. Okay and shift all other terms to RHS. So here we have minus 1. It goes to the right side. So it becomes plus 1. Okay. Now you see all these terms contains LY. So LY can be taken outside. And the remaining is S square minus 5S plus 6. Into LY is equal to 1. Therefore LY is equal to 1 divided by. Right. So 1 divided by S square minus 5S plus 6. 6 and the denominator can be further factorized. How? 1 divided by S minus 2 into S minus 3. So after completing step 2, you will get an expression for L of Y. Laplace transform, transform of Y. Okay. Our aim is to find Y, isn't it? So from L of Y, how we will get Y? That we have in step 3. In step 3, take inverse Laplace transform. Okay. Now we have step 3. In step 3, take Laplace transform on both sides. So, from L of Y, Y is equal to, see I wrote here Y of X. Y, so we don't have any T. Uh, we considered a differential equation dy by dx. Okay, so instead of t in this question, we have x. So that's why I wrote here y of x. y of x is equal to L inverse of 1 by s minus 2 into s minus 3. See, here comes the application of inverse Laplace transform. See, we discussed uh, four different methods to find the inverse Laplace transform. See, those are there in various videos. You can go through that, those videos. So, uh, partial fraction, integral theorem, then convolution theorem and second shifting theorem. Okay, so these are the four different methods. So, in this question, you can use any of those methods which is applicable. Okay, uh, see here uh, I am solving, I am finding the inverse by partial fraction method. So, 1 by s minus 2 into s minus 3. You can write this as a by s minus 2 plus b by s minus 3. Now how to find A? So I told you one easy method for finding A. Can you recall that? How? Look at the denominator. It is S minus 2. Now for what value of S the denominator is 0? For S is equal to 2. And that 2 you substitute here. Okay. So 1 by and don't substitute in S minus 2. In the other factor you put S is equal to 2. So 1 by 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 means minus 1. So A value will be minus 1. Now what about B? How will get B? So you look at the denominator. That is S minus 3. For what value of S? The denominator is 0. For S is equal to 3. Right? So on LHS, other than S minus 3, you everywhere you substitute S is equal to 3. So it is 1 by 3 minus 2. 3 minus 2 means 1. So B value is 1. Okay, so it is 1 by S minus 3. This is a partial fraction form. Okay, so L inverse of minus 1 by S minus 2 plus L inverse of 1 by S minus 3. Now minus 1 by S minus 2 is minus E raised to 2T, right? And here we don't have any t, therefore x, so minus e raised to 2x plus 1 by s minus 3, the inverse is e raised to 3t, right? 
and instead of t you write a raised to 3x. Therefore the final answer is a raised to 3x minus a raised to minus 2x and this is the solution y of x. Okay, so this way you can solve any ordinary differential equation. Now look at the next question. Solve d square y by dt square plus 5 into dy by dt plus 6y is equal to a raised to minus t. y is equal to 0 and dy by dt is equal to 1 when t is equal to 0. See what do you mean by the statement? y is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0. Also dy by dt is equal to 1 when t is equal to 0. So these are the initial conditions. Therefore, the given question can be written as d square y by dt square is y double dash plus 5 into dy by dt is y dash plus 6y is equal to a raised to minus t. Now, step 1. The in the first step, you take Laplace transform on both sides. Therefore, L of y double dash plus 5y dash plus 6y is equal to L of a raised to minus t. Now, by linearity property, you can apply L to each of these terms. Therefore, L of y double dash plus 5 into L of y dash plus uh, 6 into L of y is equal to L of a raised to minus t. This is step 1. Okay. So, next standing uh, S square L of y minus S into y 0 minus y dash 0. This is the expansion of y L y double dash plus 5 into S L y minus y 0. That is the second term. Plus 6 of y equal to 1 by s plus 1. See, you reach to minus t, that is 1 by s plus 1. Now, in step 2, in step 2, we are applying initial condition. So, what are the initial condition? y0 zero is 0 and y dash of 0 equal to 1. So, apply those conditions. So, here we want to put 0, this is 0 and this is 1 and y of 0 again here, that is 0. Okay? So, we have s square L of y minus 0 minus 1 plus 5 into s L of y minus 0 plus 6 into L of y is equal to 1 by s plus 1. So, I am simplifying s square L of y plus 5 s into L of y plus 6 into L of y is equal to 1 by s plus 1. See this term minus 1 goes to the other side. So, minus 1 becomes plus 1. Okay. So, what we did is we are keeping all the terms containing L of y on LHS and shift all the other terms to RHS. Okay. Since the each term contains L of y, L of y can be taken outside. So, the, the remaining terms are S square plus 5 is plus 6 into L of y is equal to 1 by s plus 1 plus 1. So, you can multiply here. So, s plus 1 plus 1. That is s plus 2 divided by s plus 1. And therefore, L of y is equal to, from this, L of y is equal to s plus 2 divided by s plus 1 into this goes to the denominator. So, s square plus 5s plus 6. And s square plus 5s plus 6, you can further factorize. Isn't it? How? It is s plus 2 divided by s plus 1 into, see this is s plus 2 into s plus 3. This is the factorization. See the, the product is 6 and sum is 5. Okay, therefore s plus 2 and s plus 2 get cancelled. Okay, therefore the remaining is, what we have the remaining? L of y is equal to 1 divided by s plus 1 into s plus 3. See, this is after completing step 2. Okay, by substituting the initial condition. Now, we are moving on to step 3. Okay. Now, the last step is step 3. In step 3, take inverse Laplace transform. So, from Ly of t, L, Ly, we have yt is equal to L inverse. L inverse of 1 by s plus 1 into s plus 3. Now see this inverse can be calculated by partial fraction method. I think that is very easy. So uh, partial fraction method already uh, I discussed uh, in the previous video. So you just go through that. Uh, in the partial fraction form will be A by S plus 1 plus B by S plus 3. 
So when you are calculating A and B, you will get A as 1 by 2 and B as minus 1 by 2. Therefore, 1 by 2 into A raised to minus D. L inverse of 1 by S plus 1 is A raised to minus D. Minus 1 by 2 into L inverse of 1 by S plus 3 is A raised to minus 3D. And 1 by 2 is common. Therefore, 1 by 2 can be taken outside. Therefore, A raised to minus D minus A raised to minus 3D. And this is the value, the solution of the given differential equation. And I hope uh, you all understood how to solve the ordinary differential equation by using Laplace transformation. Thank you.